how I can maximize my solar gain, and I mainly uh, <laughs> concentrate <laughs> on on my top surface, uh, my roof, yeah. so the the envelope, and uh, so I made some variations. You see my model sponsored by Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so here are some numbers I pulled up. Uh, all the iterations. Yeah. So they all correspond to one of these models, and uh, I mean the comparison can be made such that uh, uh, when you have surfaces that are wider say then surfaces that are narrower <coughs> because you're getting an unobstructed uh, uh, access to the sun it's, it's better, it's giving you more values and uh, in order to maximize the, the area I want to climb higher so this is really tall uh, it's the top level you're getting at 88 meters or so so in a way this is becoming a mountain uh, but the problem is mountain. <laughs> on time. <You> like mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> 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 I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, okay, and then yeah, the thing is then the problem becomes it's just too big and how do you support it? How does it stand? If it's not going to cover the whole block. So the problem, the issue was to have some surface that can have this 30 degree inclination but somehow also stand up and also not be so massive so it, this became almost like a peel like a hmm. so you're getting this peel and uh, inside I'm carving it out so that you're getting so on the outside you know these these could be the, the housing units and on the inside the volume is carved out. That's the. Uh, uh, that's where I'm going. That's a masterpiece again. <laughs> On Saturday we have always masterpieces. <laughs> it's great. So, 